Jujutsu Kaisen has been completely butchered and ruined in the English translations. If you are someone who's been reading in English, you are not reading JJK, you are actually reading a completely different series. That's how bad these mistranslations and poor translations have been in the official translations of JJK by Viz. And I wish I were exaggerating, I wish I was clickbaiting you, but I'm not. There have been so many mistranslations, incorrect translations, and straight up adding extra things that were never said in the Japanese that it is embarrassing and it is genuinely sad that there are a lot of fans who only read read the English officials of JJK, which perhaps could be you, and you are actively being fed misinformation because of these mishaps from the officials from Viz. Today I'll be discussing that and providing a ton of evidence, just a ton of it, going over a lot of the mistranslations and really just talking about in depth this massive problem that we have for Jujutsu Kaisen. But hey, be sure to leave a like on the video, it helps a ton. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for a ton of consistent and quality JJK content just like this. Less than 10% of people actually watch my videos are subscribed. So if you love JJK, I promise you, you won't regret it. And of course, thank you to all these special green members of the channel. All right, let's get right into this. And the big issue is I don't even know where to start. On my monitor, I actually have 20 tabs open of just evidence of mistranslations by the Viz. And it's specifically done by a translator called John Wery. And I really hate doing this. I cannot explain or express how much I hate saying, oh, this person's doing a bad job. They need to be removed because, you know, it's their job. It's what they rely on. But the damage has been so horrendous for someone who should be the official translator, the best translator, and fans who do this for free are infinitely better like it is not right it is a shame because people buy these volumes people are paying to read these and people being me one of these people i buy the volumes i've been paying for viz monthly for as long as i remember and for this for quality that's a thousand times worse than fan scans that you can read for free you know what let's start from the latest chapter in jujutsu kaisen chapter 256 gojo says do you really need for me to explain why i can't use a black flash yes he is saying in the viz that he can't use a black flash and you may be thinking this is just wrong because gojo unleashed four to five black black flashes against Sukuna, he can use a black flash. Well, you're right, because this is what it actually should say, and this is what it says in the TCB scans. Why can't I unleash a black flash whenever I want? All he's saying is he can't unleash it at will. But what does the Viz say? The Viz that's written by John Wery says, I can't use a black flash. And this is hilarious because this reminds me of many other mishaps by him, such as, for example, this is from the Viz by John Wery. Satoru Gojo and Sugudo Geto both can use curse spirit manipulation to wield the most grotesque army. Since when can Gojo use curse spirit manipulation? Both can use curse spirit manipulation? I mean, hey, maybe John Wery knows something that we don't and Gojo has secretly been able to use curse spirit manipulation, but I don't think he can. But it gets even better, because listen to this line from Sukuna in the Viz. When I activated amplification during my fight against Satoru Gojo, I was extremely careful that Malevolent Shrine's adaptation up to that point was not interrupted and not nullified. Since when can Malevolent Shrine use adaptation? What is going on with the Viz? I mean, if you read the TCB scans for any of this chapter, it's normal, it's fine, and you know what's the most embarrassing part? The leaks, where it's done in mere tens of minutes after the translation's out in an extremely rushed job by someone who's doing it as fast as they can for free, is better, yes, is better than the official Viz translations, which has almost an entire week to do it at their own leisurely pace. So according to JJK officials so far, written by John Wery, Gojo can't use a black flash, Gojo can use curse spirit manipulation, and Malevolent Shrine can use adaptation. Pray with me just for a moment for all the poor souls that are only reading the official translations because they must be so confused with what's going on right now. And this isn't even the tip of the iceberg. We haven't left the tip of the iceberg and God forbid we get to the deepest part of the iceberg. And for the sake of the video's time, because I could make this an hour long of me just going over all of his mistranslations, I will speed through many mistranslations that he's done and man, it is going to be a lot and it's not even going to be all of them. I'm just going to go through some of them with you. So a massive one that has done permanent and irreparable damage to the community is when he made Sukuna say, Yuji looks just like the Harima statue. Now in this moment, Yuji actually does look like that statue, but the issue is is that Gege was likely going for a double meaning here. Because A, that statue was before the Heian era, so Uruume and Sukuna wouldn't even know about it, and even if they have the information of the previous incarnations that they've had, why would they reference that statue and laugh at him so much? It just doesn't make sense within the story. It's because Sukuna never said the statue. That statue line was never said in the Japanese translation. John Wery chose to add it himself. Maybe he was thinking of the famous statue from Harima because again, they do look similar but it doesn't say it in the Japanese so what John Wery 
he's done is he's taken his own theory and added it as a fact in English. So now all of the English fans who have read this, which is most of you probably, simply think that Sukuna was referencing a statue and that's why they were laughing at Yuji. Whereas in the Japanese community, it's completely different. A majority of the Japanese community, from what I've heard from people who are in it, theorize that Yuji is from the Heian era because of this. Because they think Sukuna saying Yuji is just like someone from that time, which does line up with something Sukuna said in the previous chapter or two where he says, oh, Yuji is from that time. He's not talking about a statue, he's specifically saying Yuji is someone from a different time period, which lines up with what he was saying a chapter or two ago, and it's why in the Japanese communities they are theorizing Yuji's in the Heian era, while us in the English community, everyone's just accepted that he was referring to the statue and left it at that. What Gege was probably doing was a double meaning, because he does look like the statue, but that's not what he was actually saying. But unfortunately, the English community will never know about this. Another legendary mishap, which isn't even a mistranslation, he just completely omitted this translation for some reason. When Hikari was actually fighting Kashimo, the narrator's box says that Hakari's domain is strong against tug of war slash push and pull, which is huge for Hakari. That basically means he has a big advantage in domain clashes. But the English readers never know this because it was never said in the English translations. I don't know why this incredibly important power scaling piece of information for Hakari's domain was left out, but it was for whatever reason. And another massive issue of the Viz translations is Sukuna talking about his output. This is more so a case of horrible wording on the Viz part, which oh man, there is a lot of this, but basically he worded it in such a poor way that people actually think it's just talking about Sukuna's curse technique output. When you look at the Japanese and the TCB, it's actually more so implying that his general and overall output was actually nerfed alongside of his curse technique output. It's just his curse technique was nerfed more than the overall output. And I made a whole video on this. This specific issue required a 15 minute video for me to actually explain in depth why that was an issue, which obviously I won't take your time now, but man, that is something that's still an issue to this state and people still debate on if Sukuna had its overall output or just curse technique output because of John Wary's poor translations. Another error by the Viz specifically is that they said that the Six Eyes and Limitless last came a hundred years ago which directly contradicts a data book statement and the actual Japanese of this line, Hoji actually says he's only the first in several hundred years which of course is in line with the data book and I don't know why the Viz just said a hundred years which is just not true. When Shoko actually says in the Viz, well there's one who isn't fully recovered yet, what she's actually saying is one who's half dead which means that she's probably actually talking about at least in the Japanese ghetto's body which was taken and not about someone who isn't fully recovered yet. It's just worded very badly in the viz so much so that it's just basically a mistranslation. Or how about the infamous line that was so poorly translated that fans who are now reading JJK and weren't a part of the community during that time think it was a fan edit when it's real. Gojo's famous line of saying nah I'd win originally in the viz by John Wary all Gojo said was no. What I'm showing you on the screen is not a fan edit it is not Photoshop. that is what it actually said in the viz and it got so much backlash at the time that Viz went back to change it. Yes, they went back and changed it to Nah I'd Win. The only reason we even have the famous Nah I'd Win is because people are so upset at the poor translations. If John Wary had his way, all Gojo would just say is no. But in the Japanese, he says more than just no. Do you see what I mean? He's either choosing to completely omit things that were said in the Japanese, and he chooses to add things that were never said in the Japanese. I don't know why he's doing this to the series. And these are in the best case scenario. In the worst cases, he's saying Gojo can't use a black flash or Gojo can use curse spirit manipulation or Sukuna's malevolent shrine can use adaptation. Like the worst case, he is feeding misinformation rather than omitting it or adding his own. That's how bad it's gotten. And guess what? The Kamutoki in the Viz is called the Supreme Martial Solution. And this is actually a big issue with the translating of names from Japanese to English. For example, Kenjaku's domain expansion, all enveloping Garbadatu, and I probably mispronounced it, but it is a badass and incredible name in the Japanese that has insane significance and incredible depth to it that implies so many things for Kenjaku's character, but guess what? In the Viz, forget all about that. Domain expansion, wound profusion, okay. Or Yuki's curse technique, it's called Bombaya, which also has so much depth and extra meaning, which again, I won't kill this video by going in depth for all the translations, but guess what it just says in the English? Star Rage, a very boring name, very lackluster, and again, losing all depth that it had before. And another massive mistranslation by the Viz though, is Gojo actually says when he's fighting Toji, he has zero cursed energy, it's all innate physical prowess. What was actually said in the Japanese is he has no cursed energy at all. It's Heavenly Restrictions Physical Gift. Why would you change it from Heavenly Restrictions Physical Gift, such important information to innate physical prowess? I just don't understand. Another time is when Sumiki said that's no good Megumi and in response Remy actually says good implying that she can actually hear Tsumiki in that moment which is very important. Of course in the end Tsumiki's character never went anywhere but at the time this was very important for a lot of theory crafting in the Japanese community. But do you know what the 
this said, all of this said is you're letting me go, completely taking away from the fact that Remy just heard Sumiki's voice. Or even a recent mistranslation from John Worry where Sakuna thinks I come back no matter how many times he or his spirit breaks, when it should be he comes back. He's referring to Yuji, not himself. And this isn't even getting into the horrible just general translations that happens for characters' actual dialogues. For example, a very recent one. In chapter 256, Choso says he can be such a handful, almost making it sound like Choso hates Yuji and is bothered by helping him. Now compare that to the sweet and thoughtful, which is why I need to keep looking after him from TCB. The Viz line by John Wary is disgraceful and completely out of character for Choso. I cannot tell you how moved I was when Choso says, which is why I need to keep looking after him. I made a tweet as soon as the TCB came out with that line saying it moved me, it touched my heart, which you can see on the screen. That was my immediate reaction as soon as the Viz came out. But if I had read the Viz first, I would not be moved at all. He can be such a handful. Like, what is that like? And this is something I've heard from people who actually read the Japanese saying a lot of the characters in depth speech pan has been completely butchered. So Sukuna, Hakari, Yuta, all these guys, the way they actually speak is very unique or is implying certain things or has very significant tone. In the Viz, it is completely cut out for just plain text. No depth is added, no care for the character's personality or tone is added at all. He literally is just doing a word for word translation and the worst part is he doesn't even get it right. As I've explained this entire video, so you know what I mean, he removes all of the depth and flavor from that character, making them all sound just as boring or the same, or in the worst cases, which is a lot of cases, not even making them sound like themselves. And this has become such an issue that an actual article was made on this, yes, by Dexerto. I will link this in the description for you. A full article was made for the controversial mistranslations of this and because people were so upset. Now this was made for chapter 247 and this has been an issue long before then and is still an issue now for the new chapter. And there is even a petition, yes, an actual fan-made petition called Get John Wary Out of There with 700 signatures. To be honest, I'm surprised that it's not more than that. That's my shock. And you know what the worst part is? It's not just JJK. John Wary has worked for other series notoriously. If you're a Demon Slayer fan, he has butchered those translations too for the Viz. And you know what my biggest issue is? As someone who actually buys physical copies, I have to live with these forever. Now granted, some of these mistakes actually do get fixed for the physical volumes, which is good, but a lot of them don't. So many mistranslations and just poor translations slip through the cracks, permanently scarring the physical volumes forever which sucks because I've paid for them. Many of you watching this have probably paid money for this just to get translations that a fan on the internet doing it for free does infinitely better in a shorter amount of time. Is that right? This is someone who's doing it officially. He's getting paid to do this. He should be the best translator in the field. The one who should be doing this for the official Viz should be the best of the best, the cream of the crop of translators. And this is what we get? If you told me you translate a chapter with Google Translate, I would trust that more than a Viz translator chat. That is the point that we have reached with this. I don't read TCB because it's fast or because it comes first. I read it because it's more accurate. As someone who actually makes content on this, it is a necessity for me that I use fan scans so that I don't get incorrect translations and I don't feed you guys misinfo. I hate being in this position right now. This is not a single mistake. This isn't even a mistake that he does every now and then. This is something he does every single chapter. There is multiple issues that I've just told you and this has been going on since he has actually actually taken over for all of these countless chapters. It has been an issue for almost two years. And the ones who suffer for this are the people who are paying officially, who are buying the volumes. We're the ones who actually have to deal with these poorly translated issues. And a majority of JJK fans aren't like you who are watching this video, who's in depth with the fan base and can realize, oh, this is just a mistranslation or, you know, the fan scans say this. A majority of JJK fans are just normal people who just read it from the Viz website or just read it volume to volume who will never ever know about all of these mishaps and mistranslations and issues that we have. That is the most depressing part of all of this. And again, I could continue this video for another 30 minutes, even hours long of just evidence and mistranslations, translations that have been omitted or things that have been added that shouldn't have been there. But I think you get the point and I think you feel my frustration. I do hope if you're a Jujutsu Kaisen fan, you feel this frustration because this is one of the most top selling manga in the entire world. Just recently, it was actually announced that it is currently the most popular anime in manga in the world by Guinness World Records. So the most popular manga and anime in the world that is crushing the sales like it's a joke in every single category, that has millions of fans, gets this treatment? Biz Shonen Jump Shueisha, they are making tens and tens of millions from this probably every month or year like it's a joke and they can't just hire a better translator? It is just a complete joke. 
But hey, if you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, be sure to leave a like, it helps out a ton. Thank you. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for a ton of consistent and quality JJK content just like this. Like I said in the beginning, less than 10% of people who actually watch my videos are subscribed. So if you love JJK, I promise you, you won't regret subscribing. And of course, thank you to all the channel members as well. It is always much appreciated. But that's all from me. Have a great day and take care.